My name is Brian Glick. Today we're looking at passing the butterfly guard using a pants grip. So, when we're passing the butterfly guard, our central problem, of course, is that our partner is defending his inside position. When they do a good job, it can make things like the knee cut or scoop grip passes very difficult. It can mean that if we're naive and stepping forward here, our partner can tangle up our legs, we can find ourselves in all sorts of off-balancing positions and get swept and ashigurami, all sorts of nonsense. So, one of the ways that we can deal with this is with head position and trying to flatten our partner out, okay? So, our first, uh, our entry here to this is gonna involve coming in behind our hands so that our partner can't grip our legs too easily, putting our head near our partner, lowering our level, and then looking to, our ideal position is if we can spear our hand through to an underhook here. When we can underhook our partner, we can start to flatten them out, take care of that mobility issue and the inside position. But when you're with a savvy partner, they often will not allow you to take that inside position because they know how dominant it can be. And you find yourself with a partner who's defending this inside space, okay? That space between their elbow and their rib. So when we find that happening, we're still gonna take our pants grip, and instead of going inside underneath, we're gonna allow our partner to defend, and we're gonna take a grip here over our partner's back. Now, you don't have to go too deep, and you certainly don't wanna be leaning forward on your partner. You wanna have a grip just behind your deltoid here, and we're gonna close our elbow. We're gonna advance forward, and we're gonna put our head on our partner's shoulder. We're gonna put our right knee down. So our right knee is down, our left leg is up. Why? Because we're gonna need a drive leg, and this leg is gonna be the one that clears our partner's leg so that we can pass. So we have our grips, we're gonna put our right knee down and our head moves into this position. Your partner has two knees on the inside. We're gonna reduce their, their power and their strength and their ability to use that, uh, those two knees, by tipping our right knee in. So what we wanna have happen, rotate here please. What we wanna have happen is we want our right knee to close our partner's legs slightly together. So we come in behind our hands, we lower, we see that we can't take the underhook, so we're gonna go over the top, put our right knee down. The right knee moves our partner's two knees together as we close our elbows. From here, we're gonna back step. We pull with our right, we're gonna step back with our left, and our left hand is gonna drive and flatten our partner here. So we have this uh, version of a kind of long step where we spin our partner to clear their legs. Now, getting here is only the first part because a very common response when your partner is down is for them to turn towards you and look to replace the guard using this inside leg. So we have to be very conscious of driving our partner's far leg away. So one, we go for the spear, it doesn't work. Two, knee goes down, three, we tip our knee in and our head is very tight to our partner's shoulder. Important that you're not too far away here. Now, when we're ready, we're gonna pull with our right hand, we're gonna straighten our left, and we're gonna take our left leg in an arc. Why? Because you don't wanna have your partner making a hook with either of their legs on your leg. We wanna spin and clear so that we can land in this good position. Now, you'll notice this left hand still extending so that as our partner goes to bring their two knees in, we can take our hips up off the floor and use the extension of this hand to prevent it. We walk our left knee under our partner's knee. Go ahead, turn your knee in like you're replacing the guard, please. So that we can flank, walk our head up, and finish in the cross side position. So once again, from a, from a reverse angle, we advance. Grip, and because we can't take the underhook, we're going over the top here. Our knees come together so that we bring our partner's knees in tight, planting this foot. We drive into our partner, we pull with our right, straighten our left, and our left leg does the back stepping. You'll notice that we have active feet on the floor here. Okay? We're not loose and, and flat here. We've got our toes on the mat. Because your partner is going to resist, they're going to probably be posting on your head, pushing you away. So you're going to need to keep your hips up so that you can walk. As we see that knee coming in, we really focus on extending our left arm, taking our left knee to our partner's knee, and walking into this good flank position. Once you're up here, you can switch your head. Initially, we're down low with our head on our partner's chest. We want to have our head high by our partner's ear. This is going to allow us to get better control of our partner. We can switch our base, bring our knees together, 
shoulders and then landing the top of the cross side. So one last time. One, we lower two, we look to take the hand inside, our partner's smart. Three, we get our grip and our knee comes to this position. Head on the far side. We back step, pull, extend, and sit our partner to flatten them. As they go to plant their foot, hip out, and start to post, framing, we bring our hips up off the floor so that we can walk our two knees in, flanking our partner, and moving our head up to the line of our partner's head. With the underhook in place here, we lock, as our partner goes now to replace their guard, we simply clear the arm, set it down, and we're in a good top cross side position. So, ideally, we like when we're passing with this pants grip to take an underhook. It's true for the floating pass too, gi or no gi. The underhook makes things a lot easier, but you can't always get it. When you can't, anytime your partner is defending the inside position, they're always exposing the outside position. Anytime your partner is defending the inside of their bicep, they're always exposing the outside, the tricep. So we're using this principle to be able to create a good over back grip. We focus on head position, second hand holding the pants. This push pull action that spins our partner, settles them down and allows us to pass once they're flat. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If you have questions, please let us know. We'll see you soon.